My name is Multiplier. Let's take a look at Loop Cloud 5 and why it may just be the best way to find new samples. In this video, we'll look at the new features at this time here. But first of all, let me explain for those less familiar what Loop Cloud is on the computer. Beautiful. Welcome to the new and improved looking Loop Cloud. But as I say, what even is Loop Cloud? Loop Cloud allows you to download samples individually from Loop Masters. You don't have to buy the whole packs. You can buy just the samples you want, as you can see here, for points. So maybe one point for a sample or two points. You can see at the moment I've just bumped into the chair a bit, but I also have 1.9 thousand points. But that's not that special. What is special is the Loop Masters catalogue. 3.5 million samples any instrument, any genre, all the best labels, all the best, well, I suppose, all the formats from WAV files, MIDI, presets, loops, one shots, all labeled by key and BPM. Absolutely everything you need for electronic music. All things considered, in my opinion, it's got the best collection of sample packs compared to any other platform. It's really a special thing. Now, before I show you some of the new features, let me show you how you can test ideas. You can try ideas, try loops in your project, test them to see if they work before committing to buying them. Let me show you how. So I've got an idea here, in fact, let me play a little bit. A tech house work in progress. Lovely, lovely. Now, so let me grab the Loop Cloud plugin. This is something you could do in the older versions, but it's definitely worth showing you. Drag it out like so. Now hop back into Loop Cloud. See over here. Connected to Ableton Live. This works with other doors too, quite naturally. So what we can do is try a loop in the project to see if we like it before committing to buy it. Let's take a look at this real grooves idea to see if there's anything cool here. So we'll click it. Make sure we're just looking at loops and maybe just percussion. So what I'll do is click play in the DAW, and then in Loop Cloud, try these ideas, see if I like them, and they play perfectly in sync. This one's easy enough to hear, so notice how this comes in perfectly in sync, perfectly in time with the DAW. Watch it come in, and where it comes in. Excellent. Marvellous. I like this one. Now, we have a few options. First of all though, let's buy it. Click. Yay! Download high quality file. Now, check this out. We can either drag and drop this into a DAW. So if we had a giant screen or maybe two screens, we could literally have this on one screen, DAW on the other, and just drag and drop this directly into the DAW. Or if you have a small screen or maybe, maybe you're recording a YouTube tutorial, you can click this guy to copy it. And then simply, in fact, let's get a new audio track. Then, oh, in fact, I'll show you, I won't even use the shortcut. Right click, paste. Well, in fact, I paste it in the wrong place. Maniac, paste, and there we go. Our loop from Loop Cloud in our DAW, as easily as that. But very quickly though, before I show you the new features, notice what happens when I search. Notice what happens in the results here. See this state on the right-hand side? Some are clouds, some have a little computer screen, and some have little P's next to them for points. These ones I would need to buy, hence the P, but the ones with the little computer screen I already own. In fact, they're on my computer on a hard drive. And that's because of this library here. As you can see, you can add your own samples to the library. So it's new here because I recently reorganized my sample packs, so put them all, or at least half of my samples on this T5 drive. Do you see my tutorial about data storage if you're curious about that? But you can see here what I've done is added my main samples from my T5 SSD into the Loop Masters library here. It then analyzes them, as you can see here, analyzing the samples, which takes some time. But once they're analyzed, they're tagged and labeled, as you can see on the right here. So for example, if I go to what might be a good one to show, bonus drum samples, why not? 
So you can see, I mean, this is quite an easy one. Crash, it's labeled it Crash. Kicks, it's labeled him Kicks. And of course, by key and stuff like that. Let's find a less easy to tag one to show how clever it is. There you go. So it's worked out that these guys are vocals. I mean, yes, it's technically in a folder called Vocal Loops, but in fact, look at the key. That's useful to know. So you can organize, or I suppose not organize, you can search by key. And it's analyzed your entire collection of samples. Super useful stuff. And of course, mix them in with the entire Loop Cloud catalog. The ones with the little cloud shape. Cloud, 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 cloud. The ones with the cloud, if I go to my library here, these are things I own. These are things I've bought from Loop Masters. The things that aren't currently on my hard drive, but I could download them if I wanted to. So for example, in the search results, I could take, say, this EDM collapse guy, with the little cloud shape, and then just download in background. Give it a second, and boom, there you go. You can see a computer, and therefore now this samples on my hard drive. Super cool stuff. Can you start to see now how this is one of the best ways to find samples? As I mean, it looks at both the samples you own and the samples that you have access to, but also samples you may want from the Loop Masters catalog. Excellent stuff. Now, new features. Here's where things get interesting. First of all, let's look at the multi track options down here, the editing options, and the fact we can add effects. And let me show you this in context. Let's find that percussion thing again, that one I really liked. So we go to loops and then percussion. And then I think I remember the name. In fact, in fact, we can even see it over here. There's a little computer symbol. That means we've purchased it and it's available on our computer. So if I click this, marvelous. It's what well, it's playing down there. Let's play it in the context of the idea up here in our DAW. Remember, all perfectly in sync. But what I want to do is just take a tiny bit of this, as maybe I don't want the whole thing, so watch this. I can split it up. So let's first of all in my head pick what I want. Maybe split that there, split that there, and then maybe even just delete these guys. Do I like that? I do. Change my mind. I actually want to make it just this guy. Much better. But I also want to make it just one bar of a two bar section. So take a look at this. I will zoom out and change it from a one bar section to a two bar section. See the bars up there? So now it's just a little bit in a two bar section. I'm auditioning the idea, trying the idea, seeing if I like it before committing to it. I mean, I suppose I have actually bought this already, but I could have actually done this before committing to buy it. Marvellous. We can take it much further than this, so let's in fact try something else on track two. So let's pause this so I can explain some ideas. Let's say I want a bit of a background bed, repeating over, say, half a bar. What I could do for that is grab, say, we'll take a look in Dystopia. That sounds pretty scary. Dystopia. Ah, scary. And then find some, maybe some effects might be a nice place to look. And then uh, some chords, some noise. In fact, I should probably do this in the background, but slightly easier to show you, first of all, without the DOW playing. What I'm going to do is grab maybe this scrape guy. Note, I'm not in track one, I'm in track two. I could grab this scrape. That we maybe even just play it to show you, first of all. Oh, it's playing with the first one, so maybe we could mute track one. Ooh, very scary, but that, that could indeed work for what I have in mind in my head. So what I could do is manipulate this in many different ways. So we have things like split tool. You've seen that already. We have things like slip. I'll show you that now. So let's first of all repeat this over half a bar. So that was my idea. So we'll go to basics. In fact, bars and beats is probably the better place for it. Do two beats, which is half a bar. And then slip it. Mm -hmm. 
See how there I was slipping through the sample? I could also reverse it if I want, like so. I could say split it here and then reverse just the front half. We can also change the pitch up or down, a number of semitones. As you can see, all of which before committing to buy it. But we can again take this further, adding effects again before committing. So let's clear all these tracks and start fresh. Let's say I want to add a clap. In fact, there's nothing I want to show you too with regards to a clap. So I'll grab clap, like so, by searching. Let's find one I don't actually own and purely judge it based on the waveform. Oh, in fact, yes, let me show you a new feature. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This was one of my favorite new things. So we have two options for the color scheme, light or dark. Now, I generally prefer light skins. It's I'm just I'm more of a bright, happy kind of guy. But if you like the dark skins or maybe you work in the darkness, dark makes sense. But if we have the dark skin enabled, the dark color scheme, we have a full spectrum waveform option. So look at that. You can see the waveforms are colored. Now these are all claps, so they all look rather similar. So let's tangent, we're going off on a tangent. Let's click serious techno just for fun. Look at those waveforms. Wowzers, you see all the different colors? So blue is the high frequency stuff, red the base frequency stuff, and the colors in between, the colors in between. So orange, for example, is mostly bass, but with a bit of low mids. Pink would be, yeah, see some pink bits there. Pink would be low end plus high end, but not much middle end or mid range, I suppose is the word. Green would be mostly mid range and so on and so on. This is a lovely way to look at waveforms. I kind of wish this was in the light skin too, but maybe it just didn't look very good on the light skin. In fact, I should probably switch to dark skin just for the waveform because I love pretty waveforms like this. They're not just pretty, they're also useful because you can see at a glance, loosely speaking, what frequencies are involved. Excellent, but yes, let's let's find that clap. We were looking for claps, weren't we? I'm going to hop back into light skin though because I'm uh, I just much prefer the light skin. I'm, I'm a light skin kind of guy. Also, it's light outside, so it's easier on the eyes. I did a whole video on that. I did a video called "Why Does Ableton Look So Depressing," and it's well, I explained why light skins are best when it's bright outside on the eyes, and dark skins are best when it's dark in the room on the eyes. Ooh, I forgot to mention something as well. Can you hear some birds in the background? Don't worry, these aren't birds outside your window. These are birds in the sound. Hear the birdies? Tweeting away. I'm a bird tweeting in the background. That's not outside your window. That's in the sample there. Actually, it's not. That's what the watermark preview means. So when you see watermark preview, they add some light bird noises in the back. Words. They add some light bird noises in the background to make sure you don't just rip the sample and don't pay for it. So if you do hear birds in the background when you're trying out auditioning sounds, don't worry. The birds aren't there once you buy it. Once you buy it, the birds fly away. It's. It's. Uh, I thought I should probably explain that. Marvellous. Now, I do quite like that clap, but I actually wanted to show you a one shot to again show you some other features involved as it's interesting and useful to know. Oh, yes. So if I choose one shots, that's the should have thought about that ahead in advance. So now we have one shot claps. Let me find a new one to buy that I like. I like this one now. Take a look at this. This is a one shot, a single audio sample, but let's say we want to audition it in our track as a clap. So maybe audition it in our track. Ooh, if I go to the claps in our track on the twos and the fours, but importantly as well, this is a clap slightly early, as claps typically happen slightly before the second and the fourth beat. If I zoom in on the screen, you can see it's happening slightly before the second, the fourth, and so on. So we can audition this in our track to see if you like it. In fact, let me show you that. again, happening perfectly in time. When I hit play, it comes in perfectly in time. Let's add an effect. Let's go to effects edit and add a effect to this again before committing to buy it to see if we like it. Delay, filters, reverb, some more on their way too. 
What about coiled springs? And you can even manipulate this delay. Marvellous. Wet level. Touch more feedback, actually a touch less. Ooh. And you can do multiple effects. Maybe some filter vibes. Sweep down. See it's being automated there. With the filter. And we can actually change the automation. Bit too much resonance. Subtlety is normally the key here. So we're adding a filter sweep here, a subtle filter sweep. You can even see with the visual feedback how cool is this again, all before committing to buy it. So you can full blown automate things before committing to buy it to see if you like the idea, to see if you can work with this sample in your track. And it's not just the things that are automatically automated, it's anything you like. You can see there, time. You could say automate the feedback or the mix. Again, all before committing to buy it. But let's buy it. Buy file, download file. And again, we have the choice. Do we grab the original or the processed version? Let me show you both. So the original, we could copy that into our track, zoom in so we can actually see it. So again, it's the original, so it's just a single one shot here. We'd therefore have to move it into position and get that offset perfect again. That's a bit of a hassle, but we have the original file, which may be useful to give ourselves the option. Or as I say, we could grab the process version. This is copying it because I have one screen here. So I could paste it. And there we go. We have the clap fully processed. With all the automation and everything ready to go in our track. How Quick and easy as that. This is what really sets Blue Cloud apart. I absolutely love this. It's such a nice way to find samples. Whoa, marvelous. And of course, as I say, multiple different tracks here, which, I mean, you don't have to use them all as layering options. Instead, what you could do maybe, let's clear all this out. Right click, clear all tracks. What you could use these multiple different tracks for is almost like a sketching pad or an ideas station. I'm just using words there. So let's say we, we maybe we quite like this flute and maybe we quite like, oh, oh it's making noises. Oh, that's probably because I clicked it. Maybe we quite like this, we quite like this, and maybe we're looking through ideas and we also quite like this guy. Oh, click track three. Maybe we quite like this guy. We can almost keep it as a, an idea zone. We don't have to buy them all. We can, when we're looking through ideas, throw some ideas we like into these various tracks and then pick the one or two we like. Lots of different ways to work with this. Marvellous. Now, there's many more things I want to show you. So let's, let's take a look at those. Free. We all like free things. Free things are excellent. You may have seen, if you've already skipped ahead or somehow seen elsewhere, that we get, if you go onto the pricing section here on Loop Cloud's website place, there are where was it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it? Free sounds a day. So on the free plan, let's let me make sure I can see it all on screen at once. Free sounds per day. Different plans giving you different amounts of free sounds per day. That's that's per day, remember, not per month, per day. So if you're on the free plan, you get five free sounds, and well, you can see the numbers there. I'm on the studio plan, so I get 20 free sounds a day. How does that work in practice? It works excellently. It works like this. You can either just type free up. Up top, that's probably one way to do it. But one way I quite like to do it myself is, let's say I'm exploring packs and for the sake of not spending too long, oh, let's pick this one because I like the artwork. Let's say I really like Future House acapellas. I was browsing this pack and I was going, hmm, I like the sounds in this pack. What I can do is click free and that shows me all the free ones. So I can, well, I can of course audition them, click them, see which ones I like in all the same ways as usual and then download them for free. So I can download this one for free, this one for free, this one and so on up to, is it 20 a day on the studio plan? Yes, 20 a day on the studio plan. So every single day, 
I get 20 free sounds and they're not they're not random, they're not chosen by Loop Masters, they're chosen by me. I mean, it's a subset of all the Loop Master sounds. I think it's 25,000. Let me confirm this by looking at my notes. Oh, yes, 25,000. So there are 25,000 available sounds to choose from the free collection at any moment in time, and that number will increase. So it's it's not the full catalogue, but it's a huge number of free samples across, again, across every genre, all the different sound types, all the different instrument types, genres. And in fact, oftentimes, these are the best samples, somewhat counterintuitively, except not counterintuitively, because think about it from the perspective of the sample pack maker. The sample pack maker gets to decide which of samples from my pack do I get to give away for free as a bit of a taster. Chances are they're going to choose some of the better samples to get you excited to buy the rest of the pack or to buy some more samples from that pack. So the free samples are actually some of the best, which is super awesome, super exciting. It's a great reason to almost have this as one of your bits of software you check in with every day to see what, well, I suppose not to see what's available for free, but to go, cool, it's a new day, I can get some new samples, get, even if it's just five new samples, that can get you started on a track. And remember, even on the free plan, which is free, completely free, you get five free sounds. So that could be a great way to get started on tracks. Excellent. Absolutely love that. Oh, so let's talk very quickly about pricing since we are here. Pricing. So I am on the studio plan, which is £9.99 a month. What I recommend you do is grab a 30-day free trial because I just think it makes sense, doesn't it? Grab a 30-day free trial and then decide what to do after that. Decide how much storage you need, for example, for the cloud storage. How many free sounds do you generally like using? How many points do you need? So points, remember, download samples. Each sample is normally one or two points. Occasionally more, but normally just one or two points. So 100, for example, let's look at the studio plan because that's what I'm on. So 300 points means I might get maybe 200, 250, let's say 229, some few hundred number of samples. Points are easy, get 300 of them and each sample is one or two points. Does that make sense for you or do you need more or less? That's why the 30 day free trial is excellent. Link below for that, of course, which I highly recommend you click. But even if you don't want to spend money, which some people don't, that's absolutely coolies, the free plan is still excellent. Now there's some things you don't get on the free plan, which I'll run you through now. Again, all of these new features. You don't get online storage, the cloud storage. So the cloud storage is the ability to throw your samples in the cloud. If we go to my library here, I could put, see how I have T5 SSD, 500 gigabytes, that's the size of my hard drive. There's maybe 180 gigabytes of samples in this folder here. What I could do is actually put all of this, well, maybe not all of it because of the size, but I could put most of this in the cloud so I didn't have to have it literally plugged into my computer all the time, taking up space on my hard drive. I could say, for example, take this folder, just for the sake of demonstrational purposes, purpose I purposes. I could right click and do add to cloud storage throwing it into the cloud, meaning that I don't have to have that hard drive plugged in, or I could even get rid of the samples entirely. That's probably not a good idea, just in case. Um, it's always good to have multiple backups of all your samples, but you get the idea. You can throw these samples into the cloud, allowing you to download them just when you need them, but not when you don't need them. More importantly, more interestingly though, is these plugins, this plugin suite. So on the free plan, despite what it looks like here, you do actually get the plugins, but what you don't get on the free plan are these expansion packs, the preset kits, which I'll show you now. Loop Cloud Drum is a drum instrument. Loop Cloud Play is an instrument. Now, here's how it works. If you go to the, where's it gone? The home page place, let's make that smaller. That's what she said. If you go to Loop Cloud Plugins, let's go to Drum Packs, for example. And oh, no, no, let, let, let us, yes, let's start off with the Drum Packs. If I go to Show All, Loop Cloud Drum Packs, Show All, this shows a collection of different drum packs, almost like preset packs, if you like, for Loop Cloud Drum. So as an instrument, I could, for example, empty MIDI track, go to Loop Cloud Drum, Funk, power, power, funk. Now, so this is a drum instrument. You can click the various things to make the drum noises and there's, in fact, there's a pattern as well. But importantly, remember I said there were all these drum preset packs effectively? Once you download them, they appear in this list, all excellently curated from some of the best, well, not from some of the best, from the best sample pack companies in the world. You can trick the drums with a keyboard or with a mouse or with a piano roll, or you can use the built-in patterns and then simply hit play. Let's solo that to give you some examples. 
different genres, of course, giving different patterns and different vibes and different drum sounds. All of this coming from Luke Cloud Drum. We can manipulate the pattern if we want, or isolate certain elements, or in fact, yes, I can show you that in the mixer section. So we can change the levels, turn things on, turn things off, add some effects, add some effects specifically to all the drums, or just some of the drums, or we can trick them individually, or even change the pattern down here. So it's, it's really cool what it does. But think of it in terms of different preset packs, excellently curated preset packs. Let me find another one or two. Importantly, just in case I talk too fast, you can turn off the pattern there and draw in your own patterns in the piano roll or triggering them with the MIDI keyboard, whatever you fancy. Let's use this guy, Sebastian Leger. I think it's Leger, he's one of my favorite tech, in fact, it probably is. Pleasurecraft is my favorite tech house producer, then this guy. I like all the genres, so I've been very tech house focused today, but I like all the genres. Let's take a listen to this. And it's exactly the same with Loop Cloud Play, except plays an instrument, a synth. So you go to say show all to see the different instruments available for Loop Cloud Play. Find one you like. I've already downloaded quite a few. Let me find one that I personally remember as being great. I've lost it. I've lost it. Ah, I've lost it. Oh, I've completely lost it. Well, I should, could probably search, but I do enjoy the game Where's Wally? So now we're playing Where's the Flute? Flutes. Actually, those two flute packs. Here's one of the mystical flutes. Oh, yes. Ooh, love those flutes. Ooh, ooh. Ah, yes. Absolutely love that. Oh, for those who think I might be joking there. Oh, now let's see, you can see it says in your library because I've already purchased it. In Loop Cloud Play, let me show you what it looks like if you haven't bought something. So let's say we love jungle subs. We listen to the demo and we go, great, let's get it. We could do buy pack for the sake of demonstrational purposes. Purchase complete, there you go. Return to store. So now I've purchased that. We go to our project or wherever else we are, load up. Loop Cloud Play, which is an instrument. Mystical flutes, you see? You see? This was what I was using last time. That's proof that I wasn't even making it up. Absolutely love these flutes. They are marvelous in the artwork for Loop. In fact, you know what? The, the artwork's gigantic, but it's so pretty, I don't even mind. Mystical flutes, but yes, what you do, you can see, I can, I can probably see, this would be the jungle subs we just bought. These presets here, J-U-S for jungle subs, most likely, and it says sub there, so there's your clue. You click it, find the one you like, boom, and then you play it just like an instrument with a few controls, cut off resonance, etc. all your standard stuff. But yes, it's an instrument with presets. Oh, there you go, see, I downloaded, it was two, this will be the mystical flutes, mystical flutes, but there was also these flutes, F E. I don't know, I can't remember the name of that pack, but I love flutes. That's the closest impression I can personally do of a flute. It doesn't sound at all like a flute, so that's why I need this these flute instruments, because I can't sing it. Can't sing the flute with my human voice. Um, yes, marvellous. Blue Cloud Play. Is there anything else I do need to talk about? Ooh, and yes, you also get exclusive content. That's in the pricing. Just let me confirm this before I say something that's incorrect. Yes, so on the free plan, you don't get exclusive sounds, and on the paid plans, you do get exclusive sounds. So on the Loop Cloud home page, home, not page, home page, there are these exclusive packs. Again, curated by Loop Masters, which, in my opinion, are the best collection, is the best platform. Words are difficult sometimes. Is the best platform overall, all things considered, across all genres to get your samples from. Other platforms are cool too, but there's just not that depth and variety that you get on Loop Masters. Some platforms are great for one or two genres, but completely awful slash completely unusable for other genres. And that's why I like Loop Masters. It's high quality stuff. They also vet it. You can't just throw something on Loop Masters. Loop Masters has to approve it all, which is why the quality is so high. So as I say, go for the free trial. That's what I recommend. And as part of the free trial, we get 300 points. So that's what I recommend you do. As I say, it's 30 days for free, this studio. There'll be a link below. You can click it if you like. 
or search on the interwebs for loopcloud.com, but you might as well use my link if you have a mouse available. And then you go to Studio, free 30-day trial. That gets you 300 points to play with, and the whole Loop Cloud concept. Marvellous. Loop Cloud. They should probably call it Loop Sun now, because the sun's come out. The clouds have disappeared, they've gone away. That's probably because of the length of this video. The clouds have moved out the sky. That's what wind did. Wind does. Wind moves clouds out of the sky. To make way for the sun. Oh, I'm going to finish this video with a wisdom. Some I genuinely made this up. Some a wisdomous, a full of wisdom quote. Something to remember. It's always sunny above the clouds. Think about that. It's not only true. It is always sunny above the clouds. But on a more emotional level, it's always sunny above the clouds. Think about that. As a phrase from Multiplier. Loop cloud. It's always sunny above the loop cloud. That doesn't work as well. Ignore the last sentence. Just focus on this. It's always sunny above the cloud. Maybe Loop Cloud should also come up with a product called Loop Sun. Don't quite know what that would involve, but it's an idea for Loop Masters. Run with it. Catch on the flippity flip.